uh, if you put one word for your second season in the BD, what kind of word you come up with? Better. 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 I was basically adjusting the whole time um, when I was in my first year, in mean my rookie year, the whole season, so I missed a lot. So this season, I really tried to work hard um, during the off season and tried to do my best in trying to understand how the game runs here in Japan. And I'd like to say this season has um, gone a little bit better than the first season. So that's probably the word that I'll, uh, I'll say. After college, everyone expected me to play in the PBA. I was projected the first draft pick. An opportunity came where something was never been done. I gladly accepted that challenge because that's who I am as a person. Well, I mean, um, Difficult, yeah, it was also difficult, but it was also unfortunate uh, just because um, there were things that uh, I couldn't control that happened to me, like the injury and um, COVID. So it was very tough, you know, as much as you want to um, help the team out, help the club out, and try to win more games. Um, with you there, um, you know, it sometimes just, uh, it just doesn't go your way. I was very eager to prove or to introduce who I was to Japan. So this year I feel like um, I'm more relaxed and I'm just really focusing on how I can help the team and how I can help um, my teammates around me on the floor um, be better. Waking up in this paradise, thought I was paralyzed, it's just as I realize a continuous fall. Jump off a fast train to land on my glass race. It all breaks the same. Well, I really just felt bad because, uh, uh, as selfish as selfish as it may sound, uh, I cried because I missed the free throw, um, and I felt like I was the reason why we lost. So, yeah, I was very frustrated. I really tried my best. Uh, um, not be emotional, but you know, it just got the best of me. 13 straight is very tough. I've never experienced that. Uh, but you know, what the beautiful thing about this league is that it has a lot of games. So right now, I think we're one third, 30% uh, of, uh, of the tournament is finished. But the best part about it is that we have like 40 games more or a little bit over that. Getting our rhythm back and getting our confidence back as individuals and as a team. The numbers might seem like it was, uh, it's really good. I mean, I scored 18 points um, and 12 rebounds, and that, that's uh, personally, I did well at that part. But <clears throat> as far as, you know, there were, a there were a couple of instances where I could have made better decisions that I already know that I'm going to see when I rewatch the game. Yeah,彼の that's my biggest uh, challenge is to 
not really rely on my physical abilities um, throughout the game, but rely more on my understanding of the game and use my physical abilities when necessary to gain an advantage and making the right play. I'll be honest with you, I'll be really honest with you, I'm not really the most skilled or most talented or even most intelligent player out there. I'm kind of the guy that tries to do a little bit of everything to try and help the team win. Uh, well, for me, I feel like I have a million things to improve on, uh, a whole lot, um, especially in practice. I really am very hard on myself because that's where I critique myself and that's where I feel like I can get better. Is if I practice hard and make mistakes, that's when you know that uh, what you what you should do and what you shouldn't do on the court. So yeah, I definitely get more frustrated in practice because I do want to get better and I do want to help the team. I was always a very energetic boy. I always liked to play outside with my neighbors because we lived in a little village in the Philippines in Manila. One of the biggest uh, and most important people in my life. Ever since he was a kid, he was already making a name for himself uh, in the Philippines as um, the young phenom. I would always just be compared whenever I play, oh, why is he not like his brother or why is he not like his dad? Um, yeah, I mean, it was a very, especially as a kid, it was very tough for me to hear those things. Um, he invited me to his office and told me, hey, I know um, the, the kind of pressure that you're in. I know people expect you to try and be like your brother or your dad or even better. But the biggest pressure shouldn't come from all of those external factors um, wanting you to become who they think you are. Instead, the biggest pressure should, become, should come from within myself and trying to be the best player that I can possibly be every single day. Uh, if you go to the gym, are you better than what you were yesterday? Or did you regress? So you always just have to focus on being better than what you were yesterday. And from when he addressed that, that's when like my whole mentality changed. Um, that's when I tried to just focus on myself and not try and play how my brother plays or my dad plays. So I think that was the, the moment where I felt like I was myself and independent. I always like to step up to the challenge and I always like to do things that um, people shy away from. You know, if they don't want to do something, that's what I want to do. That's the kind of person that I am. I always like to challenge. I mean, when I had an opportunity out here in Japan, I thought to myself, why not play in Japan? <laughs> really good. How often do you come here? Maybe once or twice a week. The drive is like what I really like. Mm -hmm. It gets you relaxed, mm -hmm. calm. Because I don't play video games, I don't watch Netflix, so I don't really have anything to spend time with. So um, just read a book out here or just drive, pretty much. I just fell in love with the community. I mean, ever since I came out here, it's been nothing but love from the 
from the management, from the coaches, from my teammates, from the fans. Being out here in Aichi and Toyokawa and Toyohashi, uh, I kind of like the lifestyle, I mean. All I really want to do as a player is to make the uh, Philippine basketball community proud and really just try to open doors and make the Filipino athletes and Filipinos in general uh, think that they can actually, they're actually better than what they think they are and to just, you know, give them that mindset of, yeah, if I can do it, then they can do it too. So, yeah, I'm just happy. That's all I want um, to leave as a legacy. But coach has been, uh, coach is different and the way I'm used in the game is different as well. So I used to start the games, now I come, up, uh, I come off the bench. So now I have to adjust into how I can be effective coming off the bench. Starting uh, five plays well or not, you have, to have, you have to maintain or even surpass the energy that they have in order to help the team uh, play better uh, when you're inside the court. So. Uh, when I left for the Philippines and when I came back, I started to play the point guard position and I was, I've never played point guard uh, pretty much my whole career outside of the national team. So now that's the adjustment that I have to make and as a point guard you have to be more controlled, uh, know, what, uh, know when to do things and know when not to do things. あの、欲しいし、それ逆に日本人選手にないものだから、僕はそれ一番サーディで求めてる。メイクされてなできてなくてもブロックされてても全く気にしないから生き続けてくれる。なので生き続けてくれてるし、寄ったらパスをさばい